Okay. So first off, there was definitely an offer of love made to you or from you to another person. There's definitely something that came through, possibly, you know, the, the end of um, the end of October. And it was a, a legitimate offer. And I do feel that, you know, you're kind of like debating whether or not to go ahead with it. And this is like, um, for the rest of this month, I feel like this is residual energies that you're dealing with. So an offer coming through, you're kind of scrambling or you're trying to, you know, run through the pros and cons of getting involved with this person. For a lot of you, it might be a water sign, which is um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or it could be an earth sign here, which is also um, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. And for those of you who, you know, have been dealing with a water sign from the past, and you might have just gone back and had like a fling with them. I do feel that you're starting to regret this. Okay, so this is something to keep an eye out for. Because I do feel it could just be a very lustful, passionate relationship, but it didn't have any substance on it. Whereas if you look towards the future, there's definitely a really good candidate out here for you that you can have a relationship with, which is the, um, the earth sign. Okay, so keep an eye out for what's coming in in the future. Because the past relationship, it seems to me like it might just be a fling, a short-term thing, or just, you know, just a one-night stand. So that's something um, that came in possibly by the end of October or the very, very beginning of November. So use your intuition and figure out, you know, if you're balancing between the two or if you're trying to decide between the water sign and the earth sign, I honestly believe that you know where your intuition wants you to go. And I do feel, you know, with the high priestess, we sometimes know better, but we don't always listen to that inner guidance. All right. So don't be controlled by lust this week, especially for the first two weeks of the month. And try to look at things from a different perspective is what I'm sensing here. Try to hold out and try to, you know, sacrifice the ego in order to achieve something that is a little bit more stable long term. Okay. Aside from that, for those of you who are worried about your finances, I definitely feel the financial situation picking up. So for a lot of you, you don't need to worry about financial you know, obligations and things like that. We start out here with the four of pentacles in the reverse, which indicates to me the hard times are being overcome. And at the same time, there might be, I'm, I'm sensing that um, there might be a little bit of financial help coming through from a significant other if you're in a marriage type of relationship or even in a very long standing established relationship, there's definitely some financial help assistance and things like that coming through from the other party, which is going to really, you know, make you feel quite secure in your relationships. Okay. So whoever it is that you're involved with, if, um, if it is a stable relationship, I do feel that things will even, you know, escalate and will even advance to the next level for a lot of air signs too. I feel that relationships taking roots, and advancing to a new uh, level, like a new evolution, which is very, very positive. So I definitely feel, you know, we start out with the Ace of Rods and ending with the Eight. So I sense that there is escalation, there is movement in a very positive progression. So there's a lot of growth associated with this, and I feel that you're going to be quite happy this month. So despite the lover's card coming out in the reverse position, it's also telling me, you know, the lover's is about choices. So even if it's not about love, it can just indicate, you know, choosing between two potential prospects, such as a water sign or an earth sign, or even choosing between um, where you want to invest your money, in what avenues you feel that you can, things can be lucrative. And even if you're looking for a property, I do feel there's definitely choices, decisions. Um, the King of Pentacles is somebody that could be like a real estate agent as well because he owns property. And there's a property card here as well as the Ace, Ace of Rods, which indicates to me for those of you who are looking for a new place, who are scoping around looking for a brand new place to live, apartment um, co duplexes, condos, or even like, you know, new properties in general you are going to land something that is going to be very, very much to your liking. Okay. So with contracts, with finding that right house, I feel that the new house is coming through for you for this month. And, um, contracts should be signed by the end of this month. I feel that it's going to be a better, 
um, environment for you to sign contracts, okay? So aside from that, for those of you who are just out looking, I definitely feel a very strong candidate coming through here with the King's, King of Pentacles. If you have been in, the, in a relationship very recently with a water sign and you know that's really, you know, pretty much not going anywhere and you've done the work to release that person and just, you know, move on with your life, I do feel there is residual energy where they might come back. Or at the same time, if you've been harboring some type of heartache because of a, a water sign, I definitely feel that that same person could come in with a more solid offer in store for you. But one of the things I do want you to be very careful about this month is um, we have the hermit in the reverse position and the high priestess in the reverse position. The high priestess is our sense of intuition, our sense of self-knowing. The hermit indicates our spirit guides. Both of these, these are in the reverse position, which indicates to me that you might want to be a little bit careful and um, do things a little bit more systematically because there might be situations where you are, it's sort of like you are being influenced first by lust, by the need for power, by financial considerations where you might jump the gun and not make the best decisions okay so be a little bit more patient and i do feel that you know by like the 22nd or so a lot of information will become clear to you where you can take um take action where you can move forward i also feel that with the hangman this is a card of sacrifice okay this is a card that um, where you have to think about is in the reverse position, but this is basically telling me that you are not as trapped as you seem. So look at things from a different perspective and, you know, do a little bit of a wiggle in order to um, creatively think outside the box, but also like to think critically so that you can find a way out of your per present predicament is what I'm sensing. So in the reverse, you know, he's suspended and his legs are tied. In the upright position, it's basically telling me that things are not that bad. You don't have to make a move just yet and you don't have to, um, you don't have to do anything right now. So I would say that, you know, waiting things out a little bit more would be in your best interest because what's, um, what's going to help you overcome, you know, this, um, I guess, um, a lapse of judgment a lapse of judgment is what I would call the high priestess. And also, you know, being led astray, I'm sensing. If there is a business partnership that is leading you astray, it's really important for you to rectify this situation because I do feel you don't want to keep going down this route, okay? And at the same time, if you feel like you've been going astray and you don't really know what to do at this point, and you're waiting, waiting, waiting for news communication from someone, or you're waiting for, you know, financial payout in order for you to make that big investment, or you're waiting for confirmation, you're waiting for confirmation because you don't trust your intuition enough, I do feel that you're going to have to wait a little bit longer until the very end of this month when the breakthrough happens and you're going to be able to see things from a different perspective. So the King of Pentacles is also somebody who's very, very grounded. It's almost like he plants himself in the earth and then, you know, uh, over time, a lot of ivies, a lot of um, plants and trees and shrubs grow on him. So it's been, it seems as if he's been there for quite some time. So Libras, you are very, very um, notorious for, you know, being indecisive, Okay. And I do feel that this is the month where you can't really trust your judgment and you're trying to decide. And it seems as if the best thing to do is wait. Okay. And also, um, I I'm sensing, you know, a very, very strong, a very, very strong, like lapse of judgment. Okay. And I don't feel that it's, it's as bad as you, you feel it is in your head. I just feel like, you know, things happen, people people do all kinds of things, but in your head, it seems as if it's um, 
something that you can't undo it's catastrophic and you you just want to hide on under the covers you just want to like go off on your own and ruminate and just you know replay it over and over again it's not that bad so if you've gotten into like a for example what i'm sensing is if you have gotten into a situation where you are involved with somebody like a one night stand and now and you know that's something that you usually don't do but in the heat of the moment it happened and now you're thinking to yourself like i hope they don't see me differently i hope you know they know i'm not like that and um i'm so embarrassed i could just just crawl under the covers it's not that bad so you're kind of like stuck in your head and you're replaying it over and over and over again and you feel as if it's a lapse of judgment i don't feel that it's that bad okay and the world doesn't feel like it's that bad so don't worry crawl out of your rut and really start living your life okay so whatever has been plaguing you just leave it on the periphery because we do have relatively good cards here passion financial abundance with the ten of pentacles and also this king of pentacles and you're not very trapped the way that you make you're not as trapped in reality as you are in your head so keep that in mind okay and waiting things out figuring out it's like recalibrating so you're kind of like in a, a, a period of a, a state of like disarray the beginning of the, the the month so it's from the first until possibly the 15th you're just like, I feel so awkward. I feel so, you know, out of my element and uncomfortable in my own skin, possibly because of a lapse of judgment, possibly related to a lover, related to, you know, like um, some passionate love affair that might have, um, that might leave you feeling as if, it might have left you feeling exposed is what I'm sensing. Um, it can be literally or just you know metaphorically you you are feeling quite exposed and vulnerable and um, you might get a little bit defensive but things are not that bad and you're going to start to see that things are not that bad by the second half of this month I also want to say I also want to say um, this is coming in not for everybody if you are involved with somebody and you have a hunch that they're married, they probably are. So just be careful about that, okay? If you have a hunch and you're just like, I think he's married, something tells me that timing is all wrong. If timing is all wrong, then it's it probably means that, you know, they've got something that they're trying to work through, either a separation or a divorce or something like that. And as a result of it, they might not be ready to date at this present moment. That doesn't make them a bad person. But I do feel some information. It's like kind of like your gut instincts is telling you one thing. And then you're just like going against it. And as a result, you feel like a little bit out of your element, a little bit out, um, uncomfortable. So don't make any drastic decisions. I feel that you're going to have to wait until the second half of this month, okay? Um, so I hope this is helpful. For those of you who are waiting for like a financier, a backer, a financial, um, you know, consultant or something like that, somebody that can whip your money into shape, I definitely feel he or she is coming through and there's going to be communication coming through, but it's, it's kind of like on and off and very sporadic. So be very clear about the messages that you're trying to communicate because we only have one sword energy. With the high priestess in the reverse position there might be situations where you're not really seeing eye to eye and you might mistakenly tell somebody you know to for example sell a property when you in fact meant to tell them you know don't sell the property so it can be like something very very um direct like that things you know just uh, the communication issue is is going awry this month so gem um libras excuse me just be very careful with the energy for this month and like i said you know go out and live your life and don't ruminate and don't um replay weird scenarios in your head because most likely it's not all that bad okay it's not that bad so just um get out there live your life be a little bit more spontaneous um, do some physical activity. I feel like a lot of dormancy in these, these cards. You know, when we don't go outside on a regular basis to get fresh air, to re-anchor ourselves, 
that's when we feel like very um, ungrounded and that's when we are way too much in our head okay so as an air sign it would be good for you to get some grounding because I'm not sensing it around you the people around you are grounded but I feel like a lot of floating in the ethers um, energy about you so you're going to need some anchoring and you're going to need some grounding and one best way to do that is you know take a walk in a park or you know have a picnic or just do some physical activity walking around running jogging really helps um, it helps me and I'm a double air sign so it does help me a lot or just um, being around a place where I can sit still for you know um, half an hour and do some journaling that would really really help okay so I hope you take some time to do that you need some grounding because I feel like you're floating away in your head and it's really hard to bring you back down to earth and take care of practical things in a timely manner